So I'm here to tell you why cryptography is the key to freedom. <clears throat> a few years ago, now I read in New Scientist uh, that the least attractive academic degree, as voted by women, is a PhD in computing. But I stand here humbly before you with my PhD in computing and my charming, disarming Swedish accent, <laughs> and I'm going to tell you why cryptography is uh, the key to freedom. Ah. Uh, it's not always quite clear when you're in school why you do all the maths that you do. What possible could use? Could all the mathematics that you learn be? At times, few things seem less important. So this is me in fourth grade. At this time, I still enjoyed mathematics, uh, but eventually, maths became too abstract, and I, like many others, lost interest. And it wasn't until I saw pictures like this from the Arab Spring that I truly understood the power of mathematics. If it's not immediately clear to you what mathematics has got to do with the Arab Spring, then let's zoom out and talk about freedom. Many of us grow up with a certain degree of uh, expecting a certain degree of freedom in our lives, freedom to read whatever we want, to say whatever we want, and to talk to whomever we want, and we hold these freedoms for sacred. In some places, people aren't that lucky. Dictators decide who gets to speak and what they are allowed to say. But as it turns out, maths can help them. Cryptography is where you scramble a message so that no one can read it or unscramble it unless they have the key. Did you know that you use mathematical cryptography almost every single day? Well, every single day. When you bank online or chat with your friends, You know when it says HTTP colon slash HTTPS colon slash slash instead of just HTTP colon slash slash. You're using cryptography without without even thinking about it to keep messages secret, and people have been hiding messages and try to talk to people without others eavesdropping forever. There is this one story about the Romans about how they used to shave the head of a servant and and write a message on the scalp, and then when When the hair had grown back out, they would send them across enemy lines, and when they were searched by the enemy, they couldn't find anything. But when they arrived at the correct recipient, they shaved their head again to reveal the message. And in peacetime and war, it has always been important to people to be able to communicate freely. The internet has made us more connected to each other than ever before. So it's rather impractical to shave a head for every single message you want to send. But do you ever think about who might be eavesdropping when you're talking to your friends online? You might not feel that it matters much if a hacker or the government reads your email or your instant messages, or blocks you from seeing websites that it doesn't like. After all, you have nothing to hide, right? But that isn't freedom. And now it might be becoming a little more clear why. Cryptography is the key to freedom. A famous wartime example of cryptography is the Enigma machine, used by uh, Nazi Germany during the Second World War. But lately, we've seen a different kind of wartime use of cryptography. In people's struggle for freedom from dictatorship, causing scenes like this on Tahrir Square. And here's why cryptography is the key to freedom. The internet has construct, was constructed to handle disruption in the network and root around a problem, and cryptography helps it root around censorship, as if it was just a faulty path in the network. Software like Tor uses cryptography to help people be anonymous online, to circumvent censorship, to get informed and to talk to each other and the world freely. These projects like Tor are well deserved of our support. And the way Tor and other similar software was used during the Arab Spring is clear evidence of how cryptography is the key to freedom. If you're still wondering what cryptography is, it's merely mathematics, mathematics that can help change the world, to help people break free, 
to find freedom and to come together to overthrow dictators. And by the way, I'm one of those uh, who are after changing the world. And as I told you from the TED Global stage in 2011, I want to make elections verifiable. I want you to be able to verify that your vote has been counted, so that we can wrestle the power uh, over elections from the hands of those who have everything to gain from cheating. To help people break away from tyranny as fast as they can. And to help me do that, I have cryptography. And that is why cryptography is the key to freedom. Thank you.